HBO just released a trailer for a new Game of Thrones prequel series called A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, in which we see Sir Duncan the Toll and its Squire Egg, who is actually Prince Aegon. We'll have to wait two years for House of the Dragon Season 3, but in the meantime we're getting a new Game of Thrones prequel series early next year. A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms is set 90 years before the events of Game of Thrones and 70 years after the events of House of the Dragon. They started filming the first season at the beginning of the summer, and now we're already getting our first look at Sir Duncan, the tourney he attends, and the trial of Seven after striking a Targaryen prince. We also see Aegon and even the receptionist at Ashford Meadow. A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms is based on George R. R. Martin's three Duncan Egg novellas, The Hedge Knight, The Sworn Sword and The Mystery Knight, while there are many more yet to be released. This new Game of Thrones prequel series will follow the adventures of Sir Duncan the Tall and his squire Egg, whose real name is Aegon Targaryen, as they travel through Westeros. Through a series of adventures, the Hedge Knight Sir Duncan the Tall would later become a legendary member of the Kingsguard, the Lord Commander, and personally slays Daemon III Blackfyre in the Fourth Blackfyre Rebellion, while his squire Egg would become King Aegon V Targaryen of the Seven Kingdoms, nicknamed Aegon the Unlikely since he became king through a series of unlikely events. He himself was the fourth son of King Maekar I, who was also the fourth son. The stories begin with their meeting and will cover the events until their deaths. In season 1 of A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, as we can see in the trailer, we'll see Duncan and Egg meeting and starting their travels together. HBO says this about season 1. A century before the events of Game of Thrones, two unlikely heroes wandered Westeros. A young, naive but courageous knight, Sir Duncan the Tall and his squire Egg, set in an age when the Targaryen line still holds the Iron Throne, and the memory of the last dragon has not yet passed from living memory. Great destinies, powerful foes, and dangerous adventures all of eight these improbable and incomparable friends. A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms is scheduled to be released on HBO and HBO Max early next year in 2025. Season 1 will have six episodes and George R. R. Martin will serve as a writer and executive producer. Besides Duncan X, Season 1 will also include characters such as Prince Arion Targaryen, Maekar Targaryen, Baylor Breakspear Targaryen, Lionel Baratheon, Tanzel, and more. Later seasons of A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms will include characters already familiar to us, such as Brynden Rivers, known as Bloodraven, who later becomes the Three-Eyed Raven, Aemon Targaryen, who was maester at the Wall in Game of Thrones, young Tywin Lannister, Barsten Selmy, and Daenerys' father, Aerys Targaryen, and legendary events such as the Blackfyre Rebellions and much more. The first season will be an adaptation of the first George R. R. Martin's Dunk and Egg novellas The Hedge Knight. It tells the tale of how Dunk took the role of a hedge knight and met his squire, a young boy named Egg, on his way to compete in a tournament at Ashford Meadow. And here in this trailer shot we can see him in the said tourney as it takes place. A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms Season 1 will open up with Duncan the Tall, who was raised in Flea Bottom and who is a giant of a man, almost 7 feet tall, strong and quick, and has been taught jousting and swordplay. At the beginning of the story he is not a knight but a squire to another hedge knight Sir Arlen of Pennytree, who dies during the night as they travel toward the tourney. Dunk, who is his squire, buries him and pays his last respects. After considering several options, Dunk decides to continue his journey to Ashford and compete in the tourney as a knight. He adopts Sir Arlen's armor as his own, as well as his equipment and three horses, all of which we can see here. At an inn on the road, he meets a boy with a shaved head named Egg, who secretly follows him to Ashford. The reason this boy shaves his head is to avoid being recognized by his silver hair as he is a Targaryen prince. Impressed by the boy's spirit, Dunk takes him on as his own squire for the upcoming tourney. At Ashford, Dunk sells one of his horses and old armor to be able to buy armor of his own, the one we see here. Dunk then meets a puppeteer named Tanzel, who agrees to paint his shield with his personal sigil. Without proof of his knighthood to enter the tourney, he needs to bring someone to vouch for him. Unable to find anyone, Duncan returns to the castle the next day, where he accidentally interrupts Prince Baylor and Prince Maekar Targaryen, who are occupied with the missing princess Daron and Aegon, two of Maekar's sons. Explaining his problem to the princess, Baylor recalls jousting against Arlen years before and vouches for Duncan, allowing his participation. Dunk watches the first day of competition amongst the commoners, with egg on his shoulders. After several spectacular duels, the day ends when Prince Arion Targaryen disgraces himself by killing Sir Humphrey's horse. That night, Egg informs Dunk that a puppeteer girl he had met earlier is being beaten by Prince Arion. Dunk leaps to her defense and attacks Arion, striking him in the face. When Arion's guards intervene, Egg protects Duncan from further harm by revealing his identity as Prince Aegon Targaryen. 
Duncan is arrested and brought to the castle, where Prince Baylor informs him how Prince Daron claims to his father that he kidnapped little Aegon, while Arion is twisting the puppeteer's story into treason. Due to the lies of both Arion and Daron, Makar has become furious with Duncan, and Duncan goes into a trial of seven against three Targaryens, Arion, Daron, Makar, three knights of the Kingsguard, and Sir Stefan Fossovey. A trial of seven is the first in a century. Dunk must find six champions to fight with him against seven accusing knights, or he will lose before the trial even starts. Duncan says to Prince Baylor, I do not understand, what is this trial of seven? Baylor explains to him it's another form of trial by combat, ancient seldom invoked. It came across the narrow sea with the Andals and their seven gods. In any trial by combat, the accuser and accused are asking the gods to decide the issue between them. The Andals believe that if seven champions fought on each side, the gods thus being honored would be more likely to take a hand and see that a just result was achieved. With the help of Aegon, Duncan finds six allies, Sir Robin Risling, Sir Humphrey Harding, Lord Lionel Baratheon, known as the Laughing Storm, Sir Humphrey Beesbury, the newly knighted Raymond Fossovey, and ultimately Prince Baylor Targaryen, who announces that he will join Dunk's side himself as the final champion because he believes Duncan, even though the accuser was his nephew Arian, and even though he now has to fight against his brother and two nephews as well as three of his father's Kingsguard. The 14 champions line their mounts along opposite sides of the turning grounds and charge. Dunk tilts against Arian but is quickly unhorsed. Although nearly defeated, Dunk manages to grapple Arian and use his size advantage to pummel Arian into submission. Here we can see Dunk fighting. Arian takes back his accusation ending the trial, and Duncan is freed of all charges. Three of the men who had given their aid to Duncan died either during or after the battle, including Prince Baylor, leaving Duncan feeling extremely guilty. Prince Baylor, who had not brought his own armor but instead wore armor made for his son, took a blow to the head from his brother Maycart's mace. After the battle, Baylor approaches Dunk to congratulate him and begins to act drunkenly. When his crushed helm is removed, it's shown that the weaker armor made for his son did not protect him from the blow, which has crushed his skull. Arian's father, Makar, meets with Dunk after the funeral, revealing that it was his mace that killed Baylor. He regrets Arian's behavior and offers Dunk a position in his household to train Aegon. While Duncan agrees to take Aegon as his squire, he insists on remaining a hedge knight and being allowed to travel across Westeros, convinced they will teach Aegon humility and to learn to be a better knight than Arian. Makar agrees, making sure Aegon continues to use his alias of Egg to avoid being recognized and to avoid any trouble. Duncan Act set out to Dorne in search of the puppeteer whom Dunk had saved, but they will end up traveling across all of Estros, from the south to as far north as Winterfell and the Wall, going through countless series of adventures and conflicts, one of which is the Blackfire Rebellion, until eventually Duncan becomes Lord Commander of the Kingsguard and his squire Egg becomes King Aegon the Fifth Targaryen. A Night of the Seven Kingdoms will be done with filming soon, and we will get Season 1, which will contain 6 episodes in less than a year. Let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section down below. For free, you can now listen to the entire audiobook Fire and Blood on which House of the Dragon is based and which covers the entire Targaryen history, including current and future events of House of the Dragon for free with a notable trial using our link in the description. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next one.